everyone, welcome to my channel, Math with Mrs. O. I'm Ophelia Orate, a principal owner of a school, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. Our lesson for today is graphing quadratic functions and the effect of A in the parabola. You can also watch my other video on graphing quadratic functions using shortcut method. In this lesson, I will explain to you the effect of A in the parabola. The parabola, as you have learned, is the graph of a quadratic function. Let's start with the first example, y equals x squared. So, we draw a table. We find the values of x and y. If we let x be 0, y equals 0 squared, which is 0 here. If we let x be 1, y is 1 squared, you get 1 here. And if we let x be negative 1, y equals negative 1 quantity squared, which is 1. So we have 1 here. Let's graph the parabola. 0, 0 is here. 1, 1. If this is 1, this is 1. Remember, this is the x-axis and the y-axis. 1, 1 is here. Then negative 1, 1. Let's say this is negative 1. And y is 1 will be here. So if you connect this, you'll have the parabola y equals x squared. Now, let's proceed with number 2. y equals 2x squared. Observe that the value of a in number 1 is 1, while the value of a in number 2 is 2. This is ax squared, so the value of a is 2. Let us draw a table again. Where we have the x and the y values. We let x be 0, so y equals 2, 0 squared. That gives us a 0. If we let x be 1, y equals 2, 1 squared. 2 times 1 is 2. You let x be negative 1, y equals 2, times negative 1 squared gives you 2 times 1 is also a 2. Then we plot the points. Yes, let us use a red color this time. 0, 0 is here, still here. 1, 2. When x is 1, y is 1, 2. So when x is 1, y is 2. It's here. Then when x is negative 1, y is 2, negative 1, y is 2. Let's connect the three points there. Did you observe anything? I'm sure you have observed something. Now, let us write the function here, y equals 2x squared. If we move to problem number 3 for y equals 1 half x squared, again, we plot some points, x and y. We let x be 0, 0 squared. 0 squared is 0. 0 times 1 half is 0. When x is 1, 1 squared is 1. 1 times 1 half is 1 half. And if we let x be negative 1, negative 1 squared is 1 times 1 half, that gives you a 1 half. Let's plot the points again. 0, 0, still here at the origin, 0. 1, 1 half, this is 1. 
one half will be somewhere here, one one half will be here. Then negative one one half, this is negative one, one half will be here. If you take a look at the parabola, I will now use dotted line so that you can see the difference there. I'll use dotted line here, there, and this is y equals one half x squared. Let's continue with the fourth example so that you will really see the effect of A. When x is 0, negative 0 squared is still 0. When x is 1, negative, so that would be y equals negative 1 squared, you get a negative 1. When x is negative 1, so y equals negative of oh, negative 1 squared, that is still the negative of 1, that is negative 1. There. Let's plot them again. 0, 0 is here. 1, negative 1. This is 1, negative 1 is somewhere here. So 1, negative 1 will be here. Negative 1, negative 1 will be here. There, negative 1, negative 1. And then connect this, three points. This is now the graph of y equals negative x squared. Now let's proceed to number five. Again, we have to have the table of values for x and y when x is zero y equals negative 2, 0 squared, but every multiply to 0 gives you a 0. When x is 1, y is negative 2, 1 squared, that will be giving us negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. So this is negative 2, and when x is negative 1, y equals negative 2, negative 1 squared, this gives you negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Negative 2. Let's plot them. This time, I'll be using a red color. 0, 0. Still here. 1, negative 2. This is 1, negative 1, negative 2. So 1, negative 2 will still be here. Then, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, negative 2. So negative 1, negative 2 will be here. Then. So this red is the graph of y equals negative 2 x squared. Now, let us analyze. When we have y equals x squared, there, we have this graph, y equals x squared, whereas when we have y equals negative x squared, we have this, a parabola going down. So, again, these three, y plus x squared, y equals 2x squared, and y equals 1 half x squared. Produce a parabola which are all opening upward. So let us take note of that. So, number one, summary. When a is greater than zero, a is one here, a is two, and here, our A is equal to 1 half. 1 half, 2, and 1 are all positive, greater than 0 or positive. Our parabola opens upward. 
10. Observation number 2. Take a look at number 4 and number 5. What is the value of A here? Remember that we can write this as negative 1x squared. So A is negative 1. In number 5, obviously this is AX squared. So A is equal to negative 2. So both A's are negative and both parabolas are opening downward. So number two observation is when A is less than zero or when A is negative, your parabola opens downward. So this one is the opening up and down. What else? Observe that when your A is 1, your graph is this black one, y plus x squared. But when A is 2x squared, your parabola is the red one opening upwards. So what did you observe about the opening? The graph of y plus 2x squared is narrower than the graph of y plus x squared. And what about in the third quadratic function, 1 half x squared, where the value of a is 1 half? Here, as you can see, the opening of the parabola is wider. So, what did we observe then? The A here is 1. Our A here is 1. Our A here is 2. Whereas the value of A here is 1 half. So, what is the observation? But before we, start, we give a summary of the observation, let us take a look at the negatives also. When y equals negative x squared, we have this graph. Whereas when we have y equals negative 2x squared, we have a graph which is narrower. The opening is narrower than y equals negative x squared. The value of a here is negative, whereas the value of a here is negative 2. So, can we now come up with a summary? Yes. As the absolute value of A gets smaller, just like here, the A here is 1, whereas the value of A here is 1 half, so it gets smaller. What did you observe about the parabola? The opening. gets wider, wider there. So the graph of 1 half x squared is, has a wider opening than the graph of y equals x squared and the graph of y equals 2x squared. But what happens when the, the absolute value of a, 2f, Absolute value of A here, which is 2, is 2, and the absolute value of A here, which is negative 2, is 2. Absolute value of negative 2 is 2. What happens? See? The red parabolas, the opening gets narrower. So, we can summarize here that that, as the absolute value of A, gets 2 is bigger than 1, gets bigger or larger. We're getting the absolute value, so the absolute value of negative 2, which is 2, is larger than the absolute value of negative 1, which is 1. So as the absolute value of A gets larger, the opening the opening of the parabola, we're referring to the opening of the parabola 
get narrower. We're referring to the opening there. So let's summarize again. When the value of A is greater than zero or positive, your parabola opens upward. When the, your, the value of A is less than zero or negative, your parabola opens downward. As the absolute value of A gets smaller, just like here, the opening of the parabola gets wider. As we have seen here. And as the absolute value of A gets larger, as in the two red parabolas, the opening of the parabola gets narrower. I hope I was of help. Before we end, let us always remember that we have to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. Oak's good life equation. Don't forget to press the subscribe button and the bell button so that we can continue uploading videos on math tutorials. Thank you.